Alright, so I've got both the ceiling ring and the seal on. When it's successful, you should see a little bit of grease around the entire outside. That way you know the uh, it slipped over the uh, ring nice without rolling. And if you put the grease on the back on the spring as well, the spring should be still in place. And you do it so everything is nice and flush with the... So, yeah. Alright, so now it's time for the balancer. And there are two pins. One near the top and one near the bottom there. Um, so yeah, with them, it can go in one of two ways. But unfortunately, only one of them is the correct way. So, you notice a little dot there? That lines up with a little dot to the right hand side of the pin. So, there we go. Now that little pin there corresponds to that little um, pin notch there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up so that way it will slip on there nicely. I shall only heat it up to about 100 degrees Celsius so it won't uh, won't wreck the seal that it's got to press up against behind it. Cheers! Alright so I've got the uh, balancer in and notice how the two notches the inner and outer one line up and those two are in the slot it's in the correct but unfortunately it's just starting to rain so I've got to pack it up for the day. Uh, next issue tomorrow. Okay. And notice the uh, next notch here, so that's got to line up with the ones underneath it in the closest possible position, which is what I've got it in now. And then this one goes over the top and it's got a little notch on the inside as well, uh, just underneath my thumb area. So yeah, now time to bolt it all up. Alright, so I've got the balancer on, the other balancing plate, and the one for all the belts, and I've got on the inside here the six bolts that do it up, and the centre one here with the three washers on it. Make sure the washers are all the correct way. They are one directional each washer. Um, yeah, and now I've got to tighten it up to uh, 250 foot pounds or something like that. It just fucking tight. I've put uh, red thread locker on there and yeah once I tighten it up I'll start putting the belts on and assemble further. Alright, oh, and yeah just a little tip. So put a little notch in there and you should be able to uh, lock it up so you can tighten it. Alright so with the fans the best way to do it is to make sure you get the right ones of course for the right space. You put the ones on the rear first and in this case on this car it is uh, the two that go to the alternator over here as you can see it's not tightened up it is in so you loosen this one up at the back here which then lets you turn this one to lift it up or push it down it is currently in the down position where it's nice and loose to get the belts on and this isn't bolted in place it's just sitting there for the moment so that way I've got the belts in place that way I can do the AC compressor and the power steering pump one the AC compressor one was next um, I couldn't loosen it from the back or anything like that so what I did was put the belt on this side and then on the underside of the pulley and then turn the engine over in a clockwise direction as I'm facing it and it pulled it around and over so that one's on and now I am up to the power steering one where I pretty much just looped it over and done the same thing and it's time to tighten it up on the back with uh, this one and another one at the back there all right so yeah wish me luck all right so I got fan in um, the condenser in for the air conditioning and the next part is, after you've tightened up uh, all the belts except for this one here, is to 
put the shroud in and after you get the shroud that's when you put uh, the fan in and that's what uh, holds this in place so what I do, what I recommend is you do not tighten up the um, alternator on this side until you have got the fan in place a good tip is to just half screw in the f bottom bolt and do it at 12, 6, 3 and 9 make sure they line up and that way you've got a little resting platform while you get the rest in right now that the fan is in uh, the shroud can go in it goes in this orientation but then you slip it back so you can put the radiator in but before the radiator goes in uh, for a tiny bit more uh, access room tighten this one up and then that one once you've got this into a position that the uh, uh, these are taut here. Alright, so now I've changed the front crank seal because I had to cut it. There was a lot of little tiny little metal shavings that came off, little tiny specks. So, doing a uh, oil change in this to flush it out. I've already uh, rinsed it at the front. Um, when I had everything apart, I now drain the oil and now I'm going to put some more in and yeah all good I'm not going to run the engine until at least 24 hours until the sealant I used has enough time to cure properly